What's up, math people? Just making a really quick video connecting the slope formula to the um, slope intercept form of any line. So lines, you either um, love them or you hate them or you don't even think about them at all because who thinks about lines? Uh, but regardless of that fact, we can make this connection. Here is the slope formula. What I want to do is I want to erase these sub twos in the slope formulas. Uh, so the sub ones and sub twos were essentially there to denote two ordered pairs of a line. Well, if I want to speak of a line in a general sense, I need the variables x and y because it's two. It's a two variable uh, equation on a on a two dimensional Cartesian plane. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of one of those ordered pairs and just denote it generally as x and y. Um, so now if I want to uh, write something as an equation, it's best to isolate a variable. Typically speaking, that variable is y. So let's try to isolate that y there. Uh, the first thing that I can do is I can multiply both sides of this equation by that denominator, which is x minus x of 1. I'm going to do that right now. So take this uh, entire thing, multiply it by x minus x of 1. Cool. Uh, on the left side, it's going to turn into m times x minus x of 1. Uh, we're not going to worry about simplifying that just yet. And that's going to be equal to, well, these just cancel, uh, y minus y sub 1. Uh, okay, so uh, I like to express things um, in terms of y. And uh, in order to do that, I like to move it onto the left side here. So I'm just going to flip-flop the position of the two. This is the same thing as y minus y sub 1. And that's equal to m times x minus x sub 1. <clears throat> Uh, okay, so this idea right here uh, should look familiar. It's actually point-slope form of a line, which is just saying, well, if you have an arbitrary point and the slope of a line, you can create the equation of a line. Now, uh, it's kind of kind of funny. So now modern-day mathematics is a lot more progressive, and we like to denote point-slope uh, with uh, just y on one side rather than uh, y minus y sub 1. So it's a crazy thought, I know, but what we can do is we can actually move this y sub 1 to the other side. Wild and very out there. Uh, I'm going to add the y sub 1 to both sides. Here I'm going to get y is equal to m times the quantity of x minus x sub 1 plus y sub 1. Uh, this is kind of the new way that uh, people are saying you should, you should kind of uh, introduce point slope as. Um, and, and I actually do agree with the movement because now the y is actually isolated. And when you have an isolated uh, y value, you can type it in as an equation into a calculator. It's now uh, written as a function. You can, you can say that's f of x, right? It's that same idea. Now, what if, what if um, that ordered pair that you were given, that x sub 1 comma x, uh, sorry, that x sub 1 comma y sub 1, uh, what if it was actually a y-intercept? So this guy right here is a y int. Uh, with that said, uh, one of these two values nulls out. It's nothing. Your y intercept, when you're thinking about uh, graphing something, it's that vertical line. It's when you have no movement of x at all, which means your x value is 0. Now, instead of using y sub 1, um, we can just arbitrarily choose another variable to denote to note the y intercept. Uh, typically speaking, that other variable that's used to denote the y-intercept is a b-value. So how about I take this, uh, this, this ordered pair, this point, and plug it in for y, uh, x sub 1 and y sub 1. So it's going to be x minus, this time around, 0 plus uh, b. Well, x minus 0, the minus 0 is kind of arbitrary, right? You don't really need that. You're going to go y is equal to m, well, this goes away, times x plus b. That's when you do a marker drop and you say boom bada bam. Uh, you can get from the slope formula to uh, slope intercept form with point slope in between pretty easily. You can do that in under five minutes. Uh, so I'm going to ask you to continue to math on. I will do the same. See you in the next video.